I guess the, 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 this uh, uh, this thing about the latency and the throughput was probably the thing that I thought that it was more interesting because it, it went into the whole um, new perspective on how you look at the network, which extends, as I said, to policy, but also to things like testing and monitoring. So the testing and monitoring is no longer sort of a, uh, a separate uh, um, activity that you do but it becomes really part of running the network and uh, being able to use that, uh, that information with uh, analytics uh, um, and uh, actually this this is this is the part that I think there is a lot of progress being done in terms of being able to go over the fact that there's so much data out there about network performance and sort of start to to, to, to extract what's relevant, understand what's relevant. There's a lot of learning that we have to do, um, but I think that we are on the right, right track in terms of, first of all, being able to acquire the information that you know, and second, to understand what is the granularity that you need to work at. And then once you do that, what is that you can actually learn from what you collect. And I guess that the really, the, the, the really new stuff is uh, start focusing on prediction. So the testing and the monitoring is no longer to just say, well, okay, there is a problem, the network is down, down, what do we do now? But to use it to say, oh, there is some really weird pattern going on here. Uh, maybe there is going to be a problem next. Or oh, we, we recognize that those are the signs that there is something happening, there is a huge spike in usage. So instead of dealing with congestions, once you have it, you learn to predict it and act ahead of time. So I think that, that that's actually something relatively new. Yeah, because what happens with congestion is that, so the, obviously there is the bad thing that, you know, there is too much traffic compared to the, so there is more demand that you have capacity, and that's, that's bad enough. But what makes things worse is that everybody's trying to um, get their video, get their text, and so, so what happens is that you get, things get worse and worse because people, the, the users, keep trying to use the network. Uh, the network tries to, uh, you know, provide the service, so you get to a situation where the congestion sort of feeds itself and it gets really out of control. So if you can prevent this from happening in the first place um, by optimizing traffic, you avoid the worst effects of, co of congestion with the same resources you have.